students in this video we will do a, another question 4 length 100 mm theta 40 mm 530 mm a 10 mm above hp and 20 mm behind vp and end b in second quadrant the full line in second quadrant a is in already second quadrant b also is in second quadrant full line in second quadrant okay let us chart down the conditions b in second means what does it mean B dash will be above x y, small b will be above x y, L B E will be above x y, L B P will be above x y, B one dash will be above x y, B two will be above x y. Very simple. Now draw x y line. Locate A dash A. A dash A. Assume the line is parallel to VP and draw the elevation at 40 degrees. B1 dash 100 mm. Theta equals 40 degrees. Project the plan. AB1. Plan length. LBE. Then what? Assume the line is parallel to HP. When you assume the line is parallel to HP, you have to draw upwards. You have to draw upwards to get B2. It may not come up. It may come some, somewhere inside. This is uh, B2. B2 dash LBP elevation length. Now you have to combine them. How do we combine them? A dash of center elevation length is radius cut on LB. B dash A dash B dash is the elevation. Yes, so this is the arc. Yes, center plan length is radius. Cut an arc. B. A, B is the plan. And the projector through B dash and B. It's a vertical line. B and B dash most probably will come very close. I am not following dimensions. When you draw two dimension, there may be some change. This is what you call as. What is this? Alpha and this is called beta. To draw the loci, I mean uh, uh, traces, this is the elevation A dash B dash. Extend it. H, draw a vertical line through H. HT. Extend the, extend the plan, V, draw a vertical line through V and extend the elevation, V. You can make them dotted to avoid a confusion if you want. So we will say what, HT is such and such distance behind VP and VT is such and such distance below HP. I repeat, HT is such and such distance behind VP and VT is such and such distance below HP. Another simple question. End B in second quarter. I hope you understand. Thank you.